Hey dudes. Hey friends. Today is a happy day. It will be a very happy video for most of you. For the dark ones, not so much. As usual, right? So, let's dissect as our lovely dark friend Stefan Monod likes to say. He dissects everything except his own ego. So, what to do with him? You know what you're dissecting mostly. In the school they give you a frog, they give you a rabbit or whatever they can find. You know, half dead, half alive to teach you how not to be afraid of, you know, kill another being. Okay. I retract all this because it's an, a happy occasion. It is my deepest and the most honorable bow to a new United States president. Selected by people for the very first time, maybe second time, okay? Lincoln was the second, first. The next one was, let's say, Kennedy, which was not selected by the people. Actually, he infiltrated into the dark families to get things done. So, again, expect some a new development in discovery who the Kennedy, JFK, John Fitzgerald Kennedy was. Okay, go back to the happy, happy video. Title. Is happiness here to experience it or just to have it? Hmm. What a stupid question he's asking again. Okay. I'm talking to myself, so you're not so stupid. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nobody will judge you ever, but you. <laughs> okay. Are you happy for this arrogant Trump took an office, an oath, a place in the history of United States? Hmm? Are you happy that ISIS is no more? Doesn't matter. Historical figure, ISIS fake, uh, CIA's project or just ISIS as a name. Are you happy? Are you happy that Putin, Vladimir Putin, just put in the biggest carrot stick in the killeries you know where? So she cannot even turn her head anymore. Considering her nervousness on the inauguration and this final clone looks solid, you know, holding for a couple of days. <laughs> Bill Clinton, well, it was probably a last week model, so they didn't have uh, enough time to re refurbish it. Okay. Do you see the, the Carter's families? Bush? Bush was just a body without anything in the head. He's just like a puppet. Let me finish with it. And they did it. They walked in. They stay there. You know why? Did anybody make them? Yes. Otherwise, if they didn't show up, they will be the first ones to put on trial. This way, they gave themselves a bit of, you know, a layaway time, maybe about two to three weeks. Seeing Trump, who he really is, how his absolute arrogance precedes everything. 
they will be tried in a matter of hours. But first he has to clean up, let's say, the back office of the CIA and all the other freaking, you know, three-letter agencies. It's like 28 agencies just in the United States. For what? Are these Americans are so guilty of everything, so they have to be spied inside out, what they eat, what they poop, what they, who they screw, and so on. Don't think so. I mean, you, dear American humans, you don't deserve this. But it's up to you to start changing it. So give it a try with Trump. Give it a try. Don't judge too fast. Don't judge without even knowing full truth. But I'm talking about real truth. I'm talking about a real light that Trump brought in to the I call it office, prime office, uh, doesn't matter, presidential office, White House. Okay, and it's even the, the funny name, White House, do all the dirty dark work. Come on, like, come on. Are you happy for the comments and, well, I'll regress. Are you happy for the decree, the decrees that President of the United States, fucking Trump, make a decrees that people are free as of this moment of now, meaning on 20th, not in some next future when something would happen or maybe not now he claimed it openly okay so whatever you can cry baby you can be whiny about this or that because maybe he will i don't know build a wall around america okay but what for to actually protect you from your stupidity. So, why wall? Wall up around the America. Are you happy that Trump will build a wall? Well, maybe it will bring a lot of jobs, construction jobs, policing jobs, and so on. As well, all the materials that were used for the weapons, now they can be implemented into the wall. So, but did you consider, are you happy for the reasoning that he's talking about? Why he doesn't want an immigration from silly Canadians and, you know, some Mexicans coming down or coming up? Why? He told you in the speech, he wants America to go back to American people, not some immigrants, not some imported terrorists from who knows where, trained by inside terrorists called CIAs, FBIs, and all the other three-letter soup industry. That's a true reason. To actually protect you from losing yourself. To start wasting billions, trillions, I think, on the exporting and changing the exporting weapons, changing the outcomes in the other countries because they want something from these countries. They want them to be subservient. They want them to be slaves to the American dream of something. I'm talking previous administrations, previous presidents and previous, you know, very weak and cowardly creatures in the American Senate. These are nothing else but cowards. Now they are freaking out what Trump will do. 
I can tell you some of the details because anyway it's a very obvious <laughs> he will not back out not that you're not going to be able to harm him in any way he's absolutely unstoppable and reason why he told you in the speech as well because he knows the trust that he has in prime creator in creator of all he trusts in god and he knows that the god is in full protection of his noble deeds to bring back america to american people so to the whiners to the warmongers to the all you who are thinking you're going to lose something because suddenly Hillary, as a, as a you know special agent of the dark cabal, is not here. Not only that she's not going to be here, she'll be in the news for the real reasons that she did atrocity against humanity. Not too much against you Americans or Americans, but against every other nation in this planet, in this world. Libya. Iran, Iraq, even people of Saudi Arabia who were deceived and tricked to be total slaves of this dark cabal's overlord who was controlling everything and pushing these kind of energies like uh, oil and just to be able in the, to keep you in the control or in check against Russia with all the bad mouthing all the attempts to, to bring the war, to the escalate the war to the unknown levels. Because if you start throwing atomic bombs around, eventually one will end up in, inside the, your ass right there. And you won't be able to escape it anymore. So please don't throw any atomic bombs around. Or by the same sense, don't throw any bombs around including words, including your bad intentions against anybody else. Doesn't matter, Russians, Finland, Serbia, whoever you mentioned, okay? Don't throw these words into the ether because ether hears everything. And it's whispering to some of us what and how these things Things, meaning these kind of creatures, are behaving. Alex Jones, Stephen Monos, and the brands of these of these dark worlds. These are just the puppets who are blabbing the worst possible things they can say in the particular moment, until they shut up. Watch my previous video. They'll not be able to say a single word without being fully responsible for these words so okay go back to happiness are you happy that trump is elected are you happy that trump not made it into white house he made it big time not he opened a little door when two side door open he opened like a huge hole in there and he brings a true light, the true creator's light. Okay. Are you happy? Are you happy that Trump mentioned seven times in his speech that people will receive America back in their own hands. Are you happy for this? Are you still doubting maybe he's lying? Everybody else was sweet talking to you before, let's say, previous presidents, previous congressmen, or all these politicians. So, if you are not happy at this particular moment, you will never be. Because Happiness is truly here to be experienced. 
in every single moment that's happening. Same as my words. If they produce in you anger, oh, fuck it, what, what I can say? You're just an angry little creep, that's all. But if they produce hope, a smile, fake smile, you know, like wondering what this freak is saying to me, that happiness is the moment when you experience it. You cannot put it in your pocket and hold it until the next moment when you decide is this Trump a right person or wrong person or whatever. Is his words are politically correct or they're just smacking you right into the face because if you going and talking about, doesn't matter, gays, you have to be proper. If you're talking about Muslims, you have to be a proper. Who says so? If Muslim is a criminal, has to be absolutely removed from the premises instantly. If gay is making atrocity by making his statement and pushing his ideas onto you, he's aggravating your energetic field. So, has to be stopped. He can be gay whenever he wants to be, okay? In his own little world of self-importance, okay? Like this little, little creature that shows up, a Jewish priest who was giving a speech there, he talks about, I mean, look at his words. So, we're talking about a fake God that he's praying about and he's mentioning and he's calling for a Zionist state that sits on Babylonian river are you fucking mad like an inauguration he wanna program you that you're still under the oppression of cabal not anymore my dear one because you will be swiped in the next Trump's way of truth so be it and be happy at the particular moment of now. Otherwise, 